dive into the ocean of your imagination with the free-spirited Jane looking ass Davenport mermaid markers. These pre-filled watercolor brush pens are the perfect travel companions while on the go. I've already taken them out of the packaging. I couldn't wait. Look, they've already got their own designated spot. Pow! Ooh, happy new year! Look how disgusting this sheet's gotten. I was only supposed to use it throughout October, but I didn't mind it being on my table, so I just really haven't moved it. Okay, we're here today because I have these Jane Davenport watercolor paintbrush pens. And they're called like the mermaid watercolor pens and I love that name. Really that's what attracted me to the package. I got these for Christmas. So lucky me. I'm going to draw with them today and see how they work. I'm really excited about these. They're so pretty. I'll be completely honest with you. I didn't know anything about Jane Davenport until I was watching someone's vlog. Gosh I forgot her name. It'll come to me later but she had these this cute little vlog and she was drawing she had like a painting of what appeared to be the Queen of England or somebody. I'll, if I find her, I'll link her. But that's what got me into it because I started watching other people's stuff and I was intrigued to say the least. And these names are cute too. We have Coral. You know what? It's better to do it this way. Let's take these off. You don't have to watch me doing this. Oh no! Son of a bitch. <laughs> oh no! Fuck! What did I do? Well, that's Coral. Oh man. the shit. Okay. One moment. I'm going to carefully take the top off jellyfish. I love that name. So coral is basically a red, a blood red. And jellyfish is, don't be bashful now. So if you squeeze it a little, which I don't know if we, I don't know if that's recommended. Don't know. You squeeze it. This is nice. These are very nice. Okay. Jellyfish. Reef. Appears to be a brown. These aren't ready yet. Let's just... Beach is ready. Not beach. Peach. Peach is ready. It's a pretty, pretty orange. Seaweed. Ooh, I'm, you know what? I'm giving, I'm not giving, I'm getting a strong emerald city vibe from this. I'm here for this green. Green's not in my favorite color. I don't even like green like that. It's pretty. Y'all, uh, if you're, if you're here for perfect swatches and stuff like that, this is probably not your place. Pirate's Gold. Yo, if you, I'm here for these. I love these names. I do. Okay. Yo, Pirate's Gold is hot. Yes, go ahead. Yes. This one's Blue Bottle. Drip. What you do, it says push right here. So you squeeze a little bit. A little bit. Okay, don't get carried away. This is Blue Bottle. Gorgeous. I'm sure if I did lighter tabs, like lighter presses. There we go. It's like the deep blue sea, naturally. You know, this page is gonna be a mess and I don't hate that. It's just, I don't like that so much ink was wasted so early on. Ooh, ooh. I've had a worse situation like that. Here, I'll show you when that happened before, right after I swatched this, hold on. This, oh my gosh. 
Yes, Byron Bay. Okay. Beautiful. Okay, I'll show you what this happened before. It was with my ink brush pen, with my other ink pen. What do you call that thing? The Pentel pocket brush pen. They did this to me before. It splattered all over the place. Let me show you. This one. All this right here, these little splotches, splattered everywhere. I spilt it all over the page, and I was like, meh. Creative cue. Did I already do Reef? This is Reef. Did I already use this one? Lobster? No, I used Coral. Okay, well, that looks kind of similar to Coral, but maybe it's just the apple. I don't know. That looks, that looks similar to Coral. But it's pretty. Siren. Mm. Okay, Siren. Oh, I like that one. I have a lipstick that color called Requiem. This one's Deep Sea. Dark ass purple. It reminds me of the very first Barney. How many of y'all know who I'm talking about? Barney and the Backyard Gang. Not Barney and Friends, where they were at the school on the playground. I mean, the one in the backyard where it was like very much so a homemade little bitty Barney doll who lived in side of some box in the garage. Those are from our real old school, old school Barney lovers. And that's what that blue reminds me of. That went that went kind of deep as far as pop culture references, but I loved Barney. Loved it. That's pretty. That's a hot pink and the camera it's showing up as more of a kind of a reddish, but that's a very, very hot pink. It's gorgeous. These are all gorgeous colors. Okay, so I thought I was gonna do a big piece with these, I am not. I'm going to go gouache with the big piece I was gonna do. It was gonna be of a mermaid and I'm not gonna use up, no, nah, -uh. I'm not gonna use up all this ink or watercolor on the bigger piece, but I'll draw a smaller one. So let's sketch her out. All right, I'm gonna use this book to see if I can get a reference because I have an idea of what I wanna do. This is figure drawing for all it's worth a Book of Fundamentals for an Artistic Career by Andrew Loomis. Lately, I've been really obsessed with adding gold metallic accents, so you already know what's about to happen. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use these. Hopefully, those will have a bit more impact, but I'm going to do it after I color in this water. Oh, this looks so purple. This must be deep sea. Is it deep sea purple? Come on now. 
I'll make it more blue toward the top since I've already started with this deep sea color. How cute is she looking? She's cute. Let me tell you something, I'm a fan of this little precise border trick. I don't know why it's taking me so long to, to do it. I've always watched people do it on YouTube and I'm like, oh, what a perfect idea. Brilliant. <laughs> Okay, even those aren't showing up as much as I wanted, but we're going to commit. Good morning. I don't know where we left off yesterday, but I was probably just filling in some spots on this picture, but as you can see, I used the ink to add some metallic effects to it, and it's it's beautiful. I love the way it came out. I had to add a couple of layers to make it as opaque as I desired, but yeah, that's nice. So I think it's safe to establish that the Jane Davenport Mermaid markers are pretty darn great. They're a go for me. That's about it. Happy New Year, y'all. Talk to you later.